being out here and, and celebrating Asians and Asians and Pacific Islanders in yeah. film, how exciting is it to be here at the, the closing night ceremony? It's great to, to see it all. You know, this, this whole festival's been developing over the years, and it's nice to come for this closing ceremony. It's my first time here um, for this festival. And to see a friend of mine, I mean, it's such a close community, and to see a friend of mine uh, have this finished product, to, to have it showing at the end, the last day of the festival, is, is such a great thing to see, and it's such a great thing for the community and for Asians in general, the Asian community in general. Have you been proactive with uh, connecting with other Asians in, in Hollywood or in entertainment, or, or is, are you kind of new to, new to L.A.? You don't have to be proactive, really. I mean, everyone finds each other. It's, it's just that sort of community. It's a very welcoming community. So basically, I mean, I've been working in, in the East, in Singapore, and a bit in Taiwan, and, and a tiny bit, and then here in America now. It's my first Hollywood show here. And, and even then, I, I've worked with Russell Wong, and I've, I've, even in Singapore, so, and Jimmy Tanaka, and a lot of actors here. And you just get to know people naturally. It's just this sort of bonding thing that happens, this sort of family thing. Well, it's exciting for you to actually have uh, uh, your debut show here, uh, The Containment. Tell us a little bit more about the show and about your character. Yeah, uh, Containment's on the CW, and uh, it's about a viral outbreak in Atlanta. And I play this doctor, Dr. Kanat, who's trying to deal with the outbreak. He's stuck inside the quarantined area, and he's stressed. Uh, he's very stressed, but he's trying to hide it. So he's trying to deal with what he can, and a lot of loved ones are separated. And it kind of asks the audience, what would you do in a situation if there was a viral outbreak in your hometown? Uh, and that's what we love exploring on the show. So what would you do if there was a viral outbreak in your own town? Me personally, <laughs> yeah, personally. I'd freak out. I would uh, be holed up in my room playing computer games and uh, panic, mass panic, my, minor panic in my own room. Well, tell us a little bit more. How did you get involved in acting? Was, it, was there a particular film or a TV show or something that just... just grab your attention and you said, I want to be an actor? Um, I'd always, uh, from school, I'd always wanted to do it, but uh, none of my friends were really into the whole acting thing. I never saw it as a viable profession. I went into law before anything else. I think as Asian parents, you know, Asian and Greek parents, they, uh, they wanted me to do something I could fall back on, you know, that sort of thing. But um, I, it, it never stopped. Even when I qualified as a lawyer, I, n I always felt this urge to go back to it. So I thought it was now or never. And thankfully, it worked out. Thankfully, I got to, got to be here and to do a show in L.A., in Hollywood. And then tell me, being Asian and Greek, wh what Asian background are you? Uh, my dad's from Malaysia. He's Malaysian Chinese. My mom's Greek Cypriot. They met in England, got really drunk, had me. And, um, and had three others. So we've got four of us in total, okay. all boys. Got a whole boy band. Wow. Yeah. So have you, have you and your brothers ever thought about doing a mock boy band? Oh, yeah, all the time. I have. I, you have. I, lo I love the whole boy band thing. I would love to be in a boy band. That'd be awesome. And do you actually sing? Yeah, I can sing. I sing in the shower. I sing in the shower. Well, you know what? You might be able to have a show in the shower. I'll do a show in the shower. That's not a bad idea. Like comedians in cars getting coffee, a show in the shower. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah. So just to get to know you a little bit better, uh, what's, what are you listening to right now? Anything from the uh, 90s, any sort of boy band in the 90s to early 2000s, I'm well into. I'm very into that. And then I'm not, I'm, I'm not really into, or I, I, I listen to anything, but especially cheesy songs I'm into. Okay. Are you scared of hospitals and doctors? I am in real life, but I play a doctor on a show, so I, uh, I have to not be. I have to suppress it a little bit. Favorite pizza? Favorite topping on your pizza? Uh, egg and uh, cheese and meat. Egg, yeah. Fried egg. Not a raw egg. That'd be weird. Yeah. Okay, that sounds kind of like a Hawaiian kind of thing too, too, or or like a I know um, Thailand well, and, and and the Philippines like the eggs on top. Not a Hawaiian. Not Hawaiian. I hate Hawaiian pizza. You hate the pineapples. I just don't can't deal with the pineapples on the pizza. It doesn't work, you know. So yeah. And then that's the, uh, what do you like to do in your spare time when you're when you're not filming? Uh, when you're still on set, you know, because you film in Atlanta, right? Okay. So what do you, what do you like to do? Do you like to explore uh, different restaurants or just the south or what? I um, I'm extremely lazy. So when I'm not filming, I'll be in my apartment just um, or looking at the nearby coffee places. Basically, that's kind of what I do. I play some computer games. Otherwise, I'm working. That's, uh, yeah. And if anybody wants to follow you, get to see what you're doing, you have any social media that you can shout out? Uh, tweet from George. Tweet from George on Twitter. Insta Georgie on Instagram. And uh, Facebook, George Young Online. Facebook.com forward slash George Young Online. Hi, I'm George Young, and you're watching Pacific Rim Video.